The COVID-19 vaccine rollout has been far slower than promised, and that has led to calls to release every available dose right away. But public health experts are divided on whether that's actually a good idea. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez examines the pros and cons. The original Operation Warp Speed distribution plan called for holding back half of the available doses to ensure that second booster doses would be available 21 days later for Pfizer or 28 days for Moderna. But with reports of millions of doses sitting unused in freezers, President-elect Biden and some public health experts are advocating immediately releasing every vaccine dose as it's manufactured. Given all of our current constraints and the supply chain uh, constraints that we might be coming, I think releasing all the doses is a good idea. The chief clinical officer for Yale New Haven Health says they've taken the approach that getting the vaccine in arms as soon as shots become available is a good idea because even one dose of either vaccine confers 50% or more immunity. The downside is... It expects that the supply chains will remain consistent and that we will be getting second doses in a time frame that meets the 21 and 28 day needs. So that's a big if. If second dose supplies fall short, there's also talk of invoking the Defense Production Act, although vaccine production is not the same as getting GM to start making ventilators. The second vaccine booster dose is what increases immunity to near 95% and also what helps make memory cells that confer longer lasting protection than just antibodies. What's not known is what happens if you don't get that second dose on time. The CDC says it's okay, just get it as soon as you can. But delayed effectiveness has not yet been studied. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And for more of Dr. Max's answers to your COVID questions, head over to cbsnewyork.com.